This is uh, an example of what you would expect to see in a portal. And in fact, we're working with a lot of utilities where they are starting to define these exact requirements that they want for their customers. So the first thing, and, and first and foremost, on top of every customer's mind, is what's their bill going to be? So what am I over budget and am I under budget? So you, the idea that the portal will have the ability to show how am I performing. Well, also add to that that they would want to know, perhaps the drivers, how are people like me spending their money on energy? Am I overspending? Am I underspending? Where am I? And how much control do I have? So right now I see I'm over budget, so what can I do? Well, if I make some adjustments, for example, in the summertime, if I raise my air conditioner, so I'm not at 65, I see I'm still a little close. Maybe I don't need my hot water at 150, maybe I can actually lower that a little. And now I'm under budget with just a couple small changes. And really not a major inconvenience at all, some minor adjustments. But because I'm aware, I can make those changes proactively. So that's the first piece that we would see as part of a customer portal. The second thing we would expect in a portal, and again, we're seeing these requirements come right from the utilities now, and it seems they really follow on, is notify me. So helping me more, be more engaged. Let me know perhaps if I'm on a, on a rate structure that has uh, price sensitivity to what's happening in the environment. Let me know about price alerts. If there's emissions alerts, I'm more green conscious. I want to know so I can curtail my usage. I can cut back and I can uh, operate differently. And communicate with me the way that I communicate with my friends and family, email, text messaging, instant messaging, right? These are the ways I want to know about it. So that's excellent, now I'm aware. And that really gives me a sense of empowerment. However, I may not be at home when I get this notice. Now that could be a real problem, especially if I'm on a price plan in the future that's based on certain peak events will have higher prices and I need to adjust my usage. So suddenly I need the ability to have remote control so that I can reach in via the web or perhaps via my own handheld device by uh, PDA and I can pick different settings. So I can make that adjustment, I can say let's go ahead and raise that air conditioner again. We, we want to avoid that. Uh, oh, the outdoor lights are on, it's the middle of the day. Why do I need that? I can go ahead and make that change, right? So now I have that ability. That's excellent. However, let's just say that I got the alert. I was doing this presentation for you I'm sure you wouldn't appreciate it if I reached out and said, let me go and make that change. As cool as that technology is, not something we want to have happen. So what customers will ultimately need, and then part of the process that utilities are doing, is to set it so that they can do what's called set it and forget it. They subscribe to certain things, allow the utility to control under certain pre predefined situations, and make adjustments. That way the customer is protected. But the customer always has control. So if I know that I'm having a party, right? And I have given control over certain devices under what we call demand response. I have given control to the utility for my air conditioner and uh, you know my dishwasher and, and my electronics. Well, I'm having a big party. I, ne I need my electronics. I need my air conditioner. I need my dishwasher. So for that event, I'm going to say it's worth it to me. I'm going to go ahead and override those settings. All about customer engagement. Another key part of that. So and then um, the fifth major area that we see as part of a customer portal is exactly that we talked about earlier, customer owned generation. So the ability to actually say, I want to offset my budget by making an initial investment, and then I also want to produce green and clean energy, say a few solar panels, as I have done. Now, one of the things that we want to try to help customers understand is, what's the impact? Okay, so on the budget, let's look at that. Here's the budget line before solar. Here's the budget line after solar. Excellent, significant jump. I can project now what the benefit is financially. However, I'm also environmentally conscious. So let me see what that does perhaps if I made that change. Well, I noticed by going to solar panels in my home, it's the equivalent of taking oh, only one car off the road. That's not very exciting. But let me help, help me understand that if customers in my city did the same thing. So give me a different perspective. I noticed that's almost 25,000 cars off the road. So we help customers understand that the cumulative effect of small changes makes us